many people have a lackadaisical uh, view of marijuana. As Jim said, marijuana is known to be extremely addicting and a gateway drug. So it's not something to be taken lightly. I think one of the problems is much of the research that has been, or the combination of research and folklore is about marijuana in the 60s and you know 70s. Marijuana today is 10 plus times more potent than it was back then. The amount of THC, which is the, the, the uh, substance in marijuana which gets you high, is 10 times more in, in today's marijuana. So, so in, you know, some, sometimes people have that attitude, well, I went through the 60s and, you know, I was fine and I got okay and it was fun in those days in Woodstock and so on, so, but it's not the same today. And kids are finding ways to make wax out of marijuana to even increase the potency. And then somebody will say something about medical marijuana. So I'll tell you something interesting about medical marijuana. The substance in medical marijuana, cannabinoid, uh, and there is a place for some medical marijuana, but not the kind, the substance in medical marijuana doesn't get you high, okay? So kids don't want that, or adults don't want that. They want the substance that gets them high. So anyway, I guess the, the answer is yes, there is, I don't know if it's lackadaisical, I think it's a degree of acceptance and lack of knowledge, okay? And what was the other one, synergistic effect? between alcohol and marijuana? Well, certainly mix it, you know, pills and, and alcohol, you know, both are gonna work on, this, on the, that part of your nervous system that's gonna depress your ability to stay alive. And if you look at that uh, film, which is, again, common, and imagine, you know, kids go and they raid their parents' drug cabinet, you know, you go to the dentist and you get 30 pills for, for your tooth being pulled and you use two of them, and. 28 sit in your closet for two years and kids take that and anyway they go to parties and they just dump anything they can in there and then they take whatever they don't know what they're taking what dose what strength it is and then they mix it with alcohol so that synergistic effect is tremendous I will take a moment some of you have gotten you know as part of this opioid awareness we've gave out a number of these lock boxes and it's you know maybe about 50 of you got not lock boxes lock bags now somebody could say well my my addicted child is going to take that bag, take it, and rip it. Most likely true, but it's really it's a combination of symbolic and a reminder to you to pay attention to what's in your drug cabinet. Okay, to uh, you know if it's locked up, somebody's got to get in there, or somebody's got to take it from you, and then you notice it as compared to uh, Isaac and film who was taking just a handful of his mother's medication. She wasn't even aware of it. So anyway, we have that. We have, uh, we don't have it with us, unfortunately. On Laura's website, South Bay Families Connected, there are drop-off places for your medication, okay? Throughout the community, there are sheriff stations and other drop-off places. You can look at South Bay Families Connected and get that. 